Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Friday the 28th of June, the local media headlines today. And day two of the latest overseas jolly story saw the boss of the Cornwall Development Company coming out to defend his organisation, insisting it does provide value for money. Mike King said the recent trip to New Zealand would eventually create between 10 and 30 jobs in Cornwall, but he struggled to be more precise about the other expeditions, or any cost-benefit analysis. Cornwall Reports also told us how the county's Tories would be heading to Exeter today for a regional hustings at which they can question the next Prime Minister. There was news of a sad end to the search for a missing man in North Cornwall and news of a new stage production of the Mallory Towers stories. Might it trigger new interest in this fictional location in Cornwall? The St Ives Times and Echo is out today and leads with news of the launch of a new charity based in Cornwall. The Wheels Foundation has been founded by a local resident and aims to provide life-changing equipment for people with disabilities. The charity launch involved a trek up Ben Nevis. Pirate FM reported a Bristol Crown Court case which told the story of a yacht being towed into Newlyn with a huge stash of cocaine. The Cornish Times helped the Cornwall for Europe movement celebrate its third year of still being in Europe after the Brexit referendum. The BBC said that pop star Jess Glynn has pulled out of a concert at Bude because of a throat injury. And finally, Cornwall Live says the weekend weather is going to be fab. And those are the local news headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again on Monday, so enjoy that fab weekend weather. I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.